Hi folks, back on the minibus uh, kitchen build today. Uh, where I left it at yesterday was uh, I'd finished cutting out for the uh, gas bottle and uh, cut the door for that cupboard. Still to round off the corners, but I'm leaving that until I've got the other two cupboards cut out. So that's what I'm going to get on with today. Uh, but it's basically the same process as I did yesterday, so I'll not bother filming it. I'll bring you back once I've got these cut and the cupboard doors cut. And there it is, all the cupboards are cut. As I say, I've still got to rend these uh, corners off. Uh, but that's that's how they're going to open. And then this one is going to just flip down like that. So what I'm going to do now is just mark out these uh, corners for uh, rounding off. So what I've just done is I've used some of this uh, No More Nails, the glue that I've been using. And I've just put it on the uh, edge of all these uh, chipboards uh, where they've been cut just to seal them up a bit so that when I come to paint the edges or whatever um, they're sealed and they don't take um, up much paint after. Right so I'm kind of at a good stopping point for today. I've got the uh, holes cut in that cupboard and I've got all the doors cut and the edges rounded off. So it's now the following day. The glue on the edge of the chipboard is all dried off and then left me with a, a rough edge which uh, I just need to sand off with the, the light palm sander so that should give me a nice uh, smooth edge that I can paint uh, later on. What I'm going to get on with today is uh, the seat belt holes. For the holes in the front panel I'm using a variation of the uh, idea by Colonel Chimp who mentioned uh, going through uh, the front face and just utilising the door openings. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, an angled cut along here uh, that will, uh, the seatbelt uh, can just uh, slide through. I think uh, for the way these uh, are sitting that's probably the best option. And again I can do the same on the, uh, the front panel. So I've already measured it. I need a 2cm by a 9cm hole uh, to be able to slide the seatbelt buckle through easily. So I'm going to utilise the old forcing a bit, this time the 20mm uh, one and drill a hole either end and then just join the uh, two holes together probably with the jigsaw again. So I get those marked out and uh, we'll get them done. So I'll just get the edges sanded off that and it uh, looks like it should do the trick. And that's it in the van, uh, not too difficult to get through. Uh, certainly not uh, the way it was just now, because the uh, rest of the cupboard is not there. But uh, I think what I'm going to do in the back side of the cupboard, if you can see this, is just drill a 3 inch uh, round hole, uh, just so you see this. Take that out, and that will go just pull back through there easy enough. But this will sit around there uh, normally. And when you put the cupboard in, if you've got a big uh, three inch round hole, you can just reach through, grab that, and then pull it and put it through the opening there. Can't do it with one hand just now, but you know, I think you get the idea. So, as I say, just uh, sand this off and cut the other one, it should be fine. Right, that's uh, both the seatbelt holes cut. Uh, they just need uh, sanded now. Uh, but rather than sand them and then sand everything else, I decided just to put some filler on all these uh, imperfections um, where I split the boards and stuff, uh, drilling the corners out. Because I ain't no expert, so I do make mistakes. Well, luckily they're all on the inside. 
uh, and it's going to be covered anyway so I'll just let that uh, filler dry and then I'll sand sand the lot. I also want to sand the inside edges of these which I couldn't get to whilst they were on the on the cupboards. So whilst I'm waiting for the filler to dry I'm going to go ahead and drill out the hole in the back of the uh, gas cupboard uh, for the regulator to pass through and then I'm thinking I'm also going to drill just a couple of smaller uh, vent holes in that bottom uh, edge at the back just uh, in case there's any gas leaking out it doesn't uh, build up inside the cupboard um, so I'll get ahead, mark them out and uh, get them cut I'll also uh, mark and cut the uh, 3 inch hole uh, for the seat belt uh, to go through as well whilst I'm at it it's easier whilst the uh, fronts of the cupboards are off I've got the hole marked exactly where I want it inside the cupboard but rather than struggle with the hole saw inside the cupboard like this I'm just going to use the uh, silver line rotary tool with the flex drive to poke a hole through and then I can use the uh, hole saw from the back So now if I flip this over I'll have a hole which I can use as a guide for the hole saw just there so I just line up my uh, hole saw with that hole perfect as you can see there's the hole and that's how close it is to the shelf so I didn't want to go through the shelf which is why I didn't measure from the back uh, just in case my uh, internal measurements are off so I just drill that pilot hole and then use the hole saw through it so I'm gonna uh, again round these edges off and also I'm gonna cut the holes in the side for the seat belts so I've got the holes marked for the seat belts in the sides here so uh, get them drilled out too Okay, they're not too bad. Again, I'm going to be rounding these edges off. Just uh, it's a little bit easier on the hand. Right, so just tested that out in the van. It was uh, easy enough to get the seatbelt through it. And then obviously you would pull, pull like the, um, as much belt as you need. And uh, bring it along. It's not the easiest one on the hand, but... Bring it along through the front panel and fasten it in and then just tighten it up and then that should be uh, fairly securely fastened in place. Now I'm tending to think towards uh, the Poo's mate's ideas of uh, attaching some kind of bungees uh, to this front somehow and uh, attaching underneath that seat uh, possibly thinking maybe a bungee or a, even a ratchet strap that way you could just have the front cupboard in by itself and uh, will be secure without having the worktop uh, fastened on through the uh, seat tops so I think that might be a gore a plan a plan is in motion yeah so I'm thinking if I use one of these uh, to fasten it down I can fasten that underneath right, uh, behind the seat legs so what I need to do is just drill uh, two probably just do an inch wide holes like I've done for where is it that one it's for the uh, vent for the gas so I just do a couple of them in each cupboard and then that way we can fasten it down uh, both back and front so there you go that's the idea the straps just feed through like that and then would come down fasten under the seat leg and you could uh, 
uh, ratchet them with a well to cam them shut so it's nice and tight so those straps are fine for fastening stuff to roof racks so they should be fine for doing this I'll just make sure I do round, round off these edges really well so there's no sharp edges it could uh, catch on that could be screwed with a washer uh, just to hold it in place so this doesn't move uh, but it's not really that important um, which I think it's better feeding through the box rather than just uh, screwing something on the outside that it could just rip off so that's the plan I think I'll go for that so I'll do that on both uh, boxes see this this mark here this is where I sanded it down to get this uh, edge to fit the uh, front of the box because I messed up on my uh, cutting of the uh, front panel slightly and I couldn't be bothered cutting a new one so I just thought I'll sand it down this is all getting covered anyway so it's not that big a deal if I was to build another cupboard set like these I'd use the lessons I've learned uh, with this one uh, to get it perfect so that feels like a good point to stop today uh, I think I've got most of the holes drilled you see there, that's where the uh, hob will sit and the gas bottle's sitting in there you see at the back the hole that regulator can come through that hole no bother I've got the holes for the seat belt and the holes uh, for the uh, cam straps that go underneath the uh, seats in front but I'm also I think I'm going to repeat that uh, procedure for these two holes um, for the uh, gas strap that straps the gas bottle in place so I'll just draw a couple of uh, inch uh, holes one either side there uh, of the tank and then I can use the same kind of strap uh, to fasten the bottle down I think that'll work and then once I've done that it's just on to uh, sanding just get all these uh, edges cleaned up I'll also be uh, rounding off most of these edges as well so basically just uh, finish sanding then once I've done that I'll get on and paint the uh, inside and we're just going to paint these white uh, the internals uh, just so it's a, there's a bit more light in there so you can see what you're getting out of the cupboard and that and I'll keep what I'm using for the uh, outside finish a secret until uh, that video alright so we're going to leave this here today thanks for watching bye for now